Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Cobble Space Program. Now, I've been recently getting quite a few more viewers um, who are interested in uh, um, uh, in following the KSP series. And, um, and this is basically a sandbox game where, as you can see, you just fly around the universe and just explore random planets. And our ultimate objective in this series is to find out if there's life on this little moon just here called Lave because it's got an atmosphere and stuff it's got an ocean so looking good and also uh, yeah I'm quite interested in exploring like uh, and uh, right so guys um, as so today as you probably guessed from the title um, we are gonna crash into the Sun look I've made a little thing just here uh, I will show you that in just a second day but first uh, you may be wondering, oh, oh, you've got Adam here, orbiting Kerbin, uh, just there, and we've also got a Minmus station. First of all, we'll go to Adam, uh, and I will show you him. <laughs> um, the reason I call him Adam is because we're going to send Adam to Eve. And of course, we have the grand old Corsi Kerman. Let me just check if I'm recording everything here, Sam. Right. Uh, so just here we have our minimum station. Let me just warp around into the sunlight. Uh, right. So on uh, on here I have put several probes, which are um, some are designed for, with parachutes for landing on Eve, which I'll show you in a minute, and some for landing on its moon Gilly. And we're gonna put this little guy, Corsi, good old Corsi from episode one, I think, um, of KSP. Uh, he will be landing on Gilly and standing on there. Hopefully coming back. This stage will get us to Eve, uh, into Eve's orbit, hopefully. Uh, and then we'll disconnect that. And that will get us, like, into, like, um, a proper orbit. And then these things will go down. All that will come away. And this will, and this section from here up. I'm putting at the screen, I'm pointing at the screen with my fingers. And th from there upwards, we'll go to, um, I'll come back here to Kerbin. Yay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right, um, so, and also, and this is going to go to Eve, which is just here. Which is a lot, a lot larger than Kerbin. I think Kerbin's like that size or something. It's, it's like, it's like, kind of that size, yeah. Um, but we are also going to put a man, Corsi, on Gilly. Because it's got the lowest gravity of any object in this solar system. So you can, like, jump. And you like jump right out of here and stuff. It's so cool. So and it takes like five minutes to come back down after a jump. Right. So today, oh yeah, and I need to show you something else. I need to show you um, Minmus Station. We are going to land on one of Kerbin's moons, Minmus, and I will show you why. Let's go to Minmus Station. Okay. Right. Um. So here we have Nelfry. And oh, oh right, yeah, I haven't finished it yet. But um, uh, but onto here, I'm going to attach. Um, uh, so this stage will go to, um, will go to Minmus. But attached onto it, I'm going to put. Hang on, let me just go to the KSS. Oh my god, it's going back and forth. Sorry, I, I thought I did this, but I obviously didn't. I didn't get time. Uh. So this bit just down here, if you look just, you see this bit? That is a buggy that I've tested on the surface that I'm going to send, that we are going to send to Minimus. So uh, so over the next couple of episodes, and I, I, I will attach that to the Minimus station off camera, but yeah. yeah. Um, so guys, uh, this is going to be a very, uh, the next few episodes are going to be very mission based. Going to be very exciting. So, uh. So today we're gonna crash into the sun. Whoop whoop! Uh, I've got it into this orbit, and as you, let's just go look at it. It's a little probe that I've spent ages getting into orbit around the sun. Lots of fine tuning it. As you can see here, we've got all the instruments. Just over here. Too far from object. Why is that going up? Why is the temperature? For, yeah, the, te the thermometer glitches out a bit. I don't know why. Uh, it stays at 14 degrees to 15 degrees wherever it is in the solar system for some reason. When it should be like minus 200 or something. Yeah, so we've got still got quite a bit of... 
mm, kind of not very much, but uh, but yeah. Um, so guys, uh, I'm going to um, well, I'm going to do the burn, and then uh, w which will get us into orbit around the sun, and then I will be back with you guys. I mean, not in the orbit around the sun, uh, crashing into the sun. <laughs> But I'll be back with you guys in a secundo. Okay, guys, we are back. I'm just about to start the burn here. Here it goes. Down, 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 down. Oh, four kilometers. There we are. There it is. The, that's a, I think that's a collision with the surface. Right. So let's quickly whiz back here. And get ready, guys. Here we go. Oh, God, no, we're burning. Oh. Well, I think we're definitely crashing into the sun now. <laughs> well, okay. Right, uh, and it's being powered, powered, obviously, by solar panels, which are obviously from light from the sun. Duh. 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 Yeah, so, um, uh, I did just come from curbing just there. And that's just a bit of debris that I used to get into orbit. Around the sun. Right. Let's try not fuck this up. Actually, let's... let's just... I'm, I'm gonna quick save, just in case. Right. Just in case we mess this up. Right, okay. So, right, so I'm going to take some screenshots as we go down. And try not to warp into the sun. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. That's getting hot, hot, hot. Okay, should we take some screenshots just here? Okie dokie. Okay, right, let's just take a screenshot of that. Just so I can make the thumbnail, guys. That's the only reason why. Oh, look, you can start to see, like, the edges of the sun. And the sunspots. If I, like, do that, like, you can, like, see it. Oh! Okay. Well, there's the sunspots and stuff. Okay. But, uh, but as you can see on your screen now, guys, that is a comparison of the um of the size of Kerbin to the size of the sun and stuff just uh, uh um and that's for Kerbal Space Program not real life because real life it's a lot bigger but yeah so yeah <laughs> right let's just take another screenshot here let's just right okay and screenshot okay Go down here. We're still pretty far above the surface. Right, let's just go right in there. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we... This is it. I don't know if the music's too loud or anything, but we'll find out. Right, okay. I'm going to get the mic a little bit closer, just in case. Okay, here we go. Oh, God, let's tilt it up. Okay. Okay, it, it doesn't want to go any faster, so I, I this is going to take quite a while, so I'll be back with you guys when we are going to crash. And that is actually crashing, but the hitbox is a bit off, so yeah. So I'll be back with you guys in a second. Oh, okay guys, here it goes. We're almost there. I'm surprised this isn't burning up. I'm using the most heat-resistant materials here. I'm really surprised this isn't burning up, and the thermometer is facing away from the sun, so... And yeah, and it glitches out at 15 degrees, so that's why. Okay. We're coming in hot here. Oh! Oh! Well, that was a bit of an anticlimax. It just went poof! <laughs> okay. Right. Well, that was... A bit of an anticlimax. I just thought it would just explode in like a ball of fire, but no, poof, <laughs> poof. <laughs> oh, oh God, I'm tapping out right. Oh my God. Wow. Well, it's cool to see the start close at least, right? Um. <laughs> so guys, uh, I think that's practically it. But um. Uh. But next episode. Well, God. Um. We will probably be sending. Uh, a spaceship to Eve just here. Mwah, uh, uh, uh. Mwah, uh, uh, uh. So yeah, guys. Um, 
uh, so we will be spending a uh, sending a spaceship to Eve just here and Gilly. We will be setting foot on Gilly if this works out as I planned. Um, with Adam because it's Adam and Eve. Ha ha ha! I'm so funny. Ha ha ha! Right. <laughs> um, and of course, Curiosity is still on Juno just here. And also, I've um, as you can, I don't know if I said this last episode, but I've leveled out the orbit and stuff so it doesn't because it kept on catching into Ike and going to into uh, space and stuff. Um, but one day, guys, this is our ultimate mission to go to Jewel, and we will send a mothership here and send like lots of people out to each of the different moons and like start civilizations on them. Like, oh, Paul, it's very weird. And, and there's Bop, oh, no, this is Tylo, it's quite cool. Uh, where's Bop? There's Bop. It's a bit like Giddy, quite cool. And what's that? What's that one? Oh, that's Val. I think that's the uh, um, that's the Europa analog for the. Oh God, I'm tapping out again. Um, uh, that's the Europa analog for the uh, thing. Uh, for the uh, uh, for KSP. And this is Lathe, of course. We def. Oh my God, it's completely ocean over there. It's like it's like the globe. No, it's got and I got ice and stuff, and that's all water. So. And also, appar apparently the physics engine breaks if you land on Jewel because of its s massive size and stuff. So, and it's all like gas, so you can like go through it and stuff. It's all weird. Um, but <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, that's all to look forward to in future episodes of KSP. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>